In the world of search engines, two names stand tall, Google and Bing. While Google has been the undisputed king of search for over a decade now, Microsoft's recent collaboration with OpenAI has been making the waves in the industry and makes us question, is this the end of Google? But before you hurry up to say yes or no, we will have to witness an AI war between these two tech giants. Microsoft and Google are on stage with their AI-powered search engines, and it will be interesting to see how it will change the future of search. Since the launch of ChatGPT, there have been many speculations about this new way of searching. Before ChatGPT, no one thought that a company of less than 400 people could come and challenge the dominance of Google in this space. On one hand, Google announced an AI search tool of its own, called BARD, and Google CEO Sundar Pichai says that they reoriented the company around AI six years ago. The next day, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella announced the new way of search to the Bing search engine and Edge browser, integrating it with ChatGPT, and claims a new race starts today. In this video today, we'll talk about ChatGPT and how it shook the dominance of industry leaders. Why is Google worried, issued a code red, paused on many other projects, and now even its co-founders have come back to strategize the new way of Google search? What Microsoft is preparing for? And finally, who is going to win this war and how it can impact us? So if you are interested to know more about this open AI war between two tech giants, then stick around. We all have heard about companies like Tesla, SpaceX, and Neuralink, and the common name behind all these companies. Yes, we are talking about the new owner of Twitter, Elon Musk. But a very few know about another company that he co-founded, OpenAI. OpenAI has become the world's leading AI research company, and it ended the last year with a bang. On November 30, 2022, OpenAI announced the initial version of ChatGPT, and it took the internet by storm. Every person wanted to try ChatGPT, and within five days, it had over 1 million users worldwide. Major tech companies today had to wait for years or at least months to cross this mark. Within two months, ChatGPT now has 100 million users worldwide. And why not? ChatGPT has interrupted the almost legacy version of search. You all must agree that we were bored of this keyword-based search from search engines like Google and Bing. Where to find anything on the internet? First, we have to think about the right keywords, and then we might have to scroll on multiple pages to find the exact answer to our query. A smart chat-based search that gives you exactly what you need is a much better way for today's fast-paced lifestyle. Though the initial version of ChatGPT that we see today is just the beginning, we'll see a dramatic change in the way we look out for information on the internet. Right now, we only have two players, but the technology and innovation in this space might bring more players, and ultimately, it will be for our good only. But for now, OpenAI, a company of only 375 people, has created a mark in this space and disturbed the big players from their long sleep. Google, who has been a monopoly in the search, has realized that the research itself is not enough. They have to create and open a platform for the world to see their work. And Bing, who was satisfied with their 3% of market share and living on the edge for more than a decade now, got some traction with hopes that AI will benefit them. But right now, the most important question for today is, who is going to win this AI war? Google, Bing, or someone new? But before answering this question, if you've enjoyed the video so far, please smash on the like button. And if you are interested to know more on the business stories, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell notification so that you never miss a new video from us. Thank you. With all the hype from ChatGPT, one company that is making profit is Microsoft. While Microsoft's investment in ChatGPT is coming in the news now only, Microsoft has already invested more than $1 billion in ChatGPT in 2019 and 2021. Microsoft is the trusted cloud partner of OpenAI and all the models in ChatGPT are built and trained in Microsoft Azure. Recently, Microsoft has invested another $10 billion in OpenAI. And with this deal, Microsoft has opened many doors of earning. The first way Microsoft will earn with its investment in OpenAI is through profit sharing. Microsoft will get 75% of OpenAI's profits until it makes back the money on its investment, after which the company would assume a 49% stake in OpenAI. And OpenAI has already started earning through ChatGPT. After launching ChatGPT+, which is a paid and more advanced version of ChatGPT. The second way Microsoft is planning to earn from OpenAI is through its cloud business. Well, this is little indirect, but is definitely a long-term money-making strategy for Microsoft. 
Today, most of the big companies know that Microsoft Azure was at the back end of ChatGPT. It is the place where all the AI training and computation happened. So all other AI companies will also prefer Azure. Microsoft has also announced the general availability of its Azure OpenAI service, which will allow other businesses to use OpenAI's Azure hosted and trained large language models such as GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. It will help Microsoft to close the gap with its competitor AWS. Now the third and the most speculated way for Microsoft to earn money with OpenAI is via integrating ChatGPT in its search engine Bing. Microsoft has come up with new Bing now with many interesting features. But the main part is summarizing the results. Wild has seen the demo with ChatGPT which was using GPT 3.5. Microsoft has integrated Bing with GPT 4 which is faster, more accurate and more capable. Microsoft is confident with its leap and says it's their largest jump in relevance in last two decades. Microsoft has reintroduced Edge browser with two new capabilities, Chat and Compose. You can use the Chat to ask follow-up questions. For instance, you could ask the Edge sidebar for a summary of art and craft ideas and then use the Chat function to ask for craft ideas using cardboards. Edge can also help you compose content such as social media post. Right now the service is available only on request basis but in the next couple of weeks we should be seeing it out there for everyone to use. Now coming to the most exciting part of this story, the impact of ChatGPT and its integration with Bing. Can this give competition to Google and grab its market share? So let's see the numbers first. Today Google has 92% of the global search engine market share and Bing's market share is just 3%. So clearly Google has a lot to lose here. And if Microsoft can grab even a quarter of the share, it will be a big win for them. Also, Edge is a default browser in Windows laptop and has default search engine Bing. Today most people install Chrome by themselves on Windows. So Microsoft has this edge over Google in terms of grabbing new users if Bing provides better features than Google. And this was the main reason that when Microsoft announced its plan to integrate Bing with ChatGPT, Google introduced an internal code red situation. And as I said, Google has a lot to lose in this AI war. Google's 60% revenue comes from search, so it's not going to stay silent and disrupt its dominance from last two decades. In fact, Google's co-founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin, who have stepped down from their positions back in 2019, were invited to executive meetings to strategize on how to integrate chat features into Google. Just one day before the launch of Bing's integration with ChatGPT, Google announced Bard. Bard is an in-house product developed by Google on top of its conversational AI service powered by Lambda. Lambda is Google's large language model that they have been working on from last two years. Bard is not available to everyone yet, but if you want to use a similar experience, Google has introduced another app called AI Test Kitchen. This app is available both in App Store and Google Play Store, and you can get access within a day. But we can't wait for its integration with Google. Google is already late in this AI race, but if it acts fast now and integrates Bard with Google, providing similar features if not better than Bing, then the damage can be handled. Just like Google, Google Chrome is also a default choice for many people. So Google has this advantage over Bing. Even with the same features, if a choice is given to choose between the same tool and a new tool, then everyone will by default pick the current tool. If this happens, then it might slow down this AI war for now. But this wave can bring many more AI companies into this space. Before any big player takes the market again, small and new AI companies still have an option. But Google has already started its move. As per reports, they have paused all the non-critical projects for now and only concentrating on multiple AI-based projects. Well, with all these advancements in AI space, it's very clear that the legacy keyword-based search is going. In today's fast-paced world where the attention span of people is on the verge of dying, No one wants to scroll through the multiple SEO optimized and not useful web page results. If a smart chatbot can provide correct and precise information, then it will be a preferred choice for almost everyone. Though it's much simpler said than done, and it's just the beginning. We still have to witness the bitter taste of this AI advancement. There are a lot of speculations about ChatGPT and how it can disrupt the world and can take jobs. But in reality, no one knows what lies in the future. We can only prepare ourselves for the next wave. I think while the last few decades were information oriented the future will reward the knowledge oriented approach as the technology of language models will become more and more accessible we all will have our own personal assistants filled with all the information in the world and then only the knowledge and wisdom of humans can differentiate us from AI 
So that's about this AI award today. Let us know what you think. Who will be the winner of this AI race? And what next level differentiating factor you would like to see in search engines? Let us know in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like it. If you are new here, please subscribe to our channel and help us grow. We are trying to bring more amazing business stories to you. Also, let us know what other business stories you would like to see. With that said, I shall catch you in the next one. Thank you and have a nice day.